So epoxy resins have become incredibly popular over the last couple of years. They've gotten a lot better at making them. The price points have come down a little bit. I've done the liquid glass tops on bars in college and stuff like that. And I wanted to do uh, a full epoxy guitar and play around with a couple different concepts. But I wanted to test this stuff first. So this is Pro Marine Supplies epoxy hardener. This is a gallon. I bought this off Amazon. I think I paid 60 or 70 bucks for it. Wanted to test this out on my Jazzmaster body. This is a Claro Jazzmaster body that I'm working on. You'll see that video shortly. I've got this gap and I thought the best thing to do would be to apply a little bit of a hardener and some pigment and see what I can do. I did inlace on a burl body many, many years ago, even before I was doing YouTube videos. And that thing looks outstanding. I think it was probably one of my better guitar bodies. I don't even know where it is. If someone has that body, I'd love to see what it looked like. But it is pretty simple to use. The only problem with this stuff is it smells pretty bad. So I'm out here in the garage today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this off. I'm going to mix the epoxy in my mixing cups. I'm gonna do two ounces and two ounces. And then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of blue pigment and a little bit of Jacquard Pearl X Silver. So do sort of like a blue silver inlay here. And that way it'll cover up this body and I'm gonna do a big fat round over and make this comfortable. So the first things we're gonna do is mix this. It's a one to one mix. So put my gloves on. It says to apply this stuff in 75 degree weather and it's snowing here in Chicago today. So the garage is maybe at 50 ish, 55 degrees. So we'll be all right. We're going to do, let's do a hundred milliliters each and we'll mix it. So go with part A. Uh, maybe we don't need that much. Maybe we'll just do two ounces. We'll let this flow down. A little bit more for two ounces. Stuff is thick. Part A, part B, much runnier. Filled up to four ounce line. Totally looks like enough material. Let that sit for a minute, we'll tape off. The guitar here. It's important when you're using this tape, you find stuff that sticks really well. You don't want this coming apart as you've made a pour. I found that out the hard way. Do not use the cheap tape, you wanna get a good quality tape. This 3M. Looks good. Got a stick here to mix this up. Feel the can is warming up, it's mixing. Trying not to get a lot of bubbles in here. Sometimes you have to come back and do a repair because you'll get some bubbles. Learn some interesting techniques about tapping the piece, try and get those air bubbles to release. You can also use a little bit of heat. So 
to do that as well. So this is mixed up pretty good. Got a decent amount of material, definitely enough for what I'm trying to do. Let's mix in some of the color. This is more of a gut feel than anything else. Silver actually looks like that was just enough. We'll add some blue. Found this pigment online on Amazon as well. Like everything else, a little bit goes a long way. That is definitely not the blue I'm looking for. I'm going to be using chrome hardware. So maybe I just add a little bit more silver and leave it. And skip the blue. Let's do that. Too much. It's all right. So we have a tinted sort of blue silver mix. We have a blue silver mix here. We'll pour this in. Pour it so you guys can see it. So that's where we're going. Let that sit for a minute, let it bubble out. It's a pretty cool look actually. I've got some other voids here as well, but I think I'm just gonna leave them. We'll touch on this, see if we can get some of these out. Didn't help at all. Let's just try and break these ourselves. That actually did it pretty good. So this motion actually broke all the bubbles. There's some voids underneath the tape. So I want to make sure I get rid of those. couple bubbles. I'm terrified to take some heat to this to be quite honest. Don't know how that's going to react. I 
Looks like I got most of the bubbles. We're actually gonna let this sit for a little bit. And we'll come back and see what it looks like. It's definitely a cool silver-ish blue. So we'll let this sit for a couple hours, we'll come back. So I was smart enough to have enough left to make two control knobs. And with this, I can actually test the heat to get rid of the bubble. So I've got my propane torch that you've seen me use so many times to do the jack guitar. So let's try this on one. We'll light it up here and bring it down slowly. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. That definitely gets rid of all the bubbles. Let's try that on this one. And we'll do that on the body. That is awesome. All right, so that's it. We'll let this sit and see what happens. All right, so here's the body after letting this epoxy dry for about 12 hours. It's still a little bit sticky. I think if I let it dry a little bit longer, it'll dry harder. The epoxy did not seep into this one little crack or void. So I may actually plug that. It didn't seep in too much to the wood. And then as I was playing with the control cap that I'll route out or lathe out, whatever you call it, this stuff is still a little bit pliable so it's not fully dry so we'll let this sit for a couple days yet so we let this sit for a couple more days i come back at this with my rasp and you know epoxy is dry when it doesn't tear so it'll take a couple passes and if you're actually like tearing it versus filing it then you know your epoxy is not dry so we'll do this for a couple minutes i think i spent about five minutes in total getting this level didn't want to come at this strictly with sandpaper, but wanted to use the rasp just to level it down. I always apply a little bit more material to sort of go over that lip. We'll actually sand the rest of the body here as well to pull out some of the lines from the drum sander. So we'll go over this with 80, then 180, and then 400. And then we'll apply a finish over it. Got to figure out the round over piece but just wanted to show you guys with it a little bit wet here, you can see that nice sort of swirl blue pearl look. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you in the next video.